to ink. The first thing we need to do is figure out what 82% of 475 square inches is. Because 475 square inches is 100% ink coverage of one sheet of paper, and our problem tells us that 82% of that sheet of paper is covered in magenta ink. 0.82 times 475 square inches should equal 389.5 square inches, which is the total coverage area of magenta ink on one sheet of paper. Question 11 then asks us if 389.5 square inches represents one sheet of paper, how many total square inches do we have to cover for all of the sheets of paper for our job? We've already calculated that to be 125,000 press size sheets for question number two, so 389.5 inches squared times 125,000 sheets of paper equals 48,687,500 square inches of coverage area for magenta for all of the sheets for this job. From there, we can calculate the total number of pounds of ink required, and that is the total ink coverage area of magenta ink of 48,687,500 square inches divided by 20,000 square inches for every one pound of ink that value was pulled from the problem. It's not something you should just memorize. It's going to be different for every question. 48,687,500 square inches divided by 20,000 square inches for every one pound of ink comes out to 2,434.375 pounds of ink. We cannot purchase part of a pound of ink, so we'll round up to the next whole number and purchase 2,435 pounds of ink. Ink is priced at $6 per pound, so 2,435 pounds times $6 per pound means we will spend $14,610 on magenta ink. If you are able to get all of these questions correct, please move on to the next video to calculate the yellow ink coverage. If you got any of these wrong, please go back and review them. If you're still having difficulty after reviewing, please come to my online office hours, my in-person office hours, or come to any scheduled um, ART 1210 lab hour and I will be more than happy to help you.